Okay, welcome back to Gone Home, part 5 I think it is. My name's One Thousand Colors, and today, that's what we're playing, we're playing Gone Home. I don't really know what we're up to now, I haven't played this for a couple of days, just because I've been busy, been tired, blah blah blah. You know, I don't, I don't like to record when I'm tired, like, I will record when I'm tired, but not to the point that I want to, like, pass out or whatever. So, yeah. I get the feeling once I go upstairs, that's where the story will end, but I want, I want to do a little bit of exploration, you know. Just explore the rest of the house and all that. So, the wardrobe. I still remember the secret place, and I'm like, I've got to check out the secret place. Apparently it's in their wardrobe. Apparently, let's check them out. Mom's dad's bedroom, and that's going to be the closet, and it's going to be straight ahead, so, uh, ha. Huh. Okay, that's cool, but, that's creepy, but it's cool. Oh, thank god, a light. Hmm. Sam put this here. Did she put all this stuff here? Because if she did, that's pretty cool. But if not, then that's quite creepy. Oh! 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 Ha 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 ha. I know this game isn't scary, but it is. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> the blood of Jesus. I don't know. Demons, beware. For God so loved the- that's like bad design. That's really bad design. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Did Sam put that there? She did, it's still creepy, but at least you know who put it there. Let's put it back. Put it back. I don't know what happened to my voice then. There was another little panel. Ghost Hunter's House Investigation Log. Hidden compartments found three. Library, upstairs, hall, and the foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered. Zero. So there's a little panel there. She took a little photo. She's smart. Thank you for making things easy, Sam. Yeah, I have a feeling that Sam ran away with Lonnie or something. Um, ghost Hunters. Sam and Lonnie Secret House. Investigation log. Okay, the library, upstairs hall, and the foyer. So there's, there's one where Sam's room is. That's creepy. It creaks, so that's why it's creepy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's creepy because it has, like, no... No light? There's no light. Doesn't work. It's like, oh yeah, everything's fine. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. But it's a non-scary game with nothing creepy really in it, as far as I know, so... Yeah. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Um... Uh, journals. Journals. Items? No, I have to go back and check it. Gosh darn it. A Ouija board. Ugh, I don't like these. I don't know. If it's, uh, I don't know. A pen. Take first combo scrap. To open. I have no idea. That doesn't say anything. Half a Sam's locker combo added to backpack. Oh, that's what it is. Ah, uh, there's got to be something in Sam's locker. It's... It's got to be important. Huh. It looks like she just stole it from the school. Did she? Did she steal her locker from the school? I love that little story. <laughs> Gross! Meow! No. No! I don't know. I don't know how the dude cut sounds. Read note. Okay, number one, 
Hello? Hello? Who are you, Oscar? Which is the uncle? That's the uh, uncle who died and left the house. I'm pretty sure. What do you want? To come back? I think there's meant to be like, uh, it's meant, there's meant to be a bit of a creepy element because it's this like big haunted house, but that's not really what it's about. Um, it's, I don't even know if it's haunted. As far as I know, it's not. Um, upstairs hall. I don't know where that is. I don't know where to find that. So there's a library, it goes out somewhere, and then there's a thing in my bob. Oh, I don't even know. Okay. Now, I need to check that again. I'm hopeless with the uh, directions. That's the library, that's where we came out of. Okay. Yeah, I'm really bad at directions and all of that. Like, I'm really good at navigating and all that. Like, once I've been to a place, I will most likely be able to get there again. Easily. Uh, but... Otherwise, I am totally hopeless with directions. I don't know, let's feel along... Ah, here we go. I think that's a picture that she took. It was in the corner. Uh, second combo crap. Property of Sam, private. Okay. We got both. Completed combination of Sam's locker and a two backpack. <sighs> What's this? Why did she. Ah, uh, she must have hit it in the panel so nobody reads it. Heaven, at the edge of the world. Ah, cool. Private, do not read the Green Gert Glacier, part two. Samantha Greenbrier, ninth grade, blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's Allegra, not Elgera. There's something wrong with me. I think this is continuing from before. I think that was from before. I don't know if it is though, but let's read it anyway. Let's read it. Okay. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves. From their perch high in the forest branches. I thought that was really bad. That was dreadful. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed. Such lushness juxtaposed to the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without he hesitation, hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the gl Green Glacier's Amazon Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Her party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed to the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal. Reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She said she shouted No and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down. And all was eerily eerily silent. Allegra looked down, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair. Just like the first mate's. And the shoulders and the sleeves, sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, and the hands of a body of a woman, still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, she's one of us now. She is ours. 
Allegra drew her magical flint cock, flint lock pistols from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, "That's the love of my life, and you can't have her." Huh? Ah, uh, I yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the first mate got a bit of a sex change. Um, I'd be, I'd be a little bit. I, I gotta say, I'd be a little bit pissed off if I was one gender and then I got suddenly changed into another one. I mean, into the other one. <laughs> Just there's so many genders to change into. Um. Yeah. So you can see where this. Uh, yeah. Re reflects for Sam. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Yeah, so you can tell Sam likes Lonnie, and Lonnie probably likes Sam. Most likely. Positively, certainly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Um. I want to see. Because I haven't, I haven't found any keys whatsoever. Um, and there's locked doors in the house, but I'm gonna I'm gonna check uh, Sam's locker. I feel so nosy. I'm such a nosy sister. But at the same time, um, really, like seriously, you know, she she should have said something. Why didn't she bring Steggy? You think she takes Steggy with her? Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. O fifty one to open. Turn right three times. Yeah, it's just like the ones that we have. O fifty one. Um, it's not one of those combinations, but it'd be really annoying to like do that. To like have to actually do it and all of that, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know. Ah. Remarkably smooth. Molly filter cigarettes. Surgeon General's warning. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. Ugh. In, in the 90s, these warnings are so half ass. Now, all the cigarettes, well, I know in Australia, at least, I'm not sure about America or anywhere else. Um, that, that's a creepy sound. Um, ooh, basement key. Um, yeah, now, nowadays is like, pictures of gross stuff and, 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 and sick babies and, and gangrene and cancer and all of that kind of crap on the packets, on every single one of the packets. And she stole stuff. I saw the I saw the tags and I'm like, yeah, Sam stole stuff. Gosh, Sam. Ah, right. <laughs> Gentlemen, the magazine for men. Yeah. Does that no? It doesn't turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, Sam. Yeah, it's like, did she did she pinch them from Dad? Cause Dad, Dad had some. Dad had some. Salmon photo, Lonnie. Uh, oh. Oh. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... 
And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy now. I was like, oh, imagine if it was like... Yeah, then I was like, I can never see you again. That would, that would suck. Yay! To the basement! Let's go. I have no idea how to get out. Oh no. Yeah, there was nothing wrong. Added to backpack. Um. Yeah, you know when I said I. Oh. Yeah. Yay! I was like, I'd be so sad if that just ended badly. Um. Uh. Uh. I don't know what the basement is. No? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I like this story. Yeah, you don't- oh, you- especially in, like, video games, that you don't get that story a lot, really, to be honest. It's always between a man and a woman, whatever. Oh, I think this is the basement. Yeah, this isn't creepy. Okay, so yeah, I got a feeling she ran away with Lonnie or something. Because she's like, I don't want mom or, da oh, mom or dad to know. That's gross in here. But, yeah. Yeah, she's like, I don't want mom or dad to know. Which is fair enough. Um, ugh. Coming, coming out's hard. Gotta say. But... If your parents accept you, it's like one of, or and your friends and all that accept you, then it's one of the most like relieving feelings in the world. And there's a binder, a soda can, some chips with a peg thing with a fresh pig peg on it, and nobody's eating that. <laughs> Read note. <laughs> a fancy man couldn't tell, quite. Okay, okay, let's read it. Dear Samantha, I would like to call cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Yours cordially. I can't read! I can't read. Yours. Your close friend and confident, confident, Lonnie D. That sounds that sounds like a rapper name. It's Lonnie D. Let's just let's be all neat. Put everything on the table. Salmon drawing. And that means Sam plus Lonnie in a love heart and birds and mice and yay. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Of course. Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night. Or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Oh, I like this story. It's a nice, nice story. And let's hope, hoping it doesn't turn to crap, like after a little while or something. I reckon it will. Sex ed assignments. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's one. That's the one we. Uh... Oh no, she had to re. She had to redo it. Or was this mine? No, that was mine. I actually did it. <laughs> I actually did it. Um, that's actually how the menstrual cycle works. Uh, not the way that Sam wrote it. That's actually the one. That's actually how it works. And I got a tick and a plus. What is it? What does a tick and a plus mean? Shouldn't it be like an A plus or something? Oh, I don't know. 
Grab Plark. Oh. oh that, that's mine. All my stuff's in the basement. In the creepy basement. Oh. K is for kind. A is for amazing. I is for intelligent. T is for talented. L is for lighthearted. I is for important. And N is for nice. Did you hear that, guys? I am nice. I got an award because I'm like the, the star student. And this place looks like it's pretty big. So, and those look like poker chips. But this looks like a pretty big place to explore. And I think our time's up for now. But that, that was a nice little, uh, we, we actually discovered a fair bit. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Sam ran away with Lonnie or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if the uh, voice message on the, on the, like, machine or whatever, um, and I'm pretty sure it's Lonnie on the phone. Um, you'd, you'd think it would be. But, yeah, I got a feeling that was Lonnie. And so, I have my doubts, but I don't know what's going to happen. And everything sounds creepy in this house. But anyways, I have to end the episode here. Um... So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for supporting. Hope you guys are really enjoying this story. Some people are like, eh, about it, but who cares? It's a, yeah, uh, who, who really cares? Who cares? Good game, good story. If you don't agree with it, who cares? Who does? Anyways, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for supporting, and good day, good night, and farewell. I'm so confused with everything right now, and there's more chips, and then I'll suck. There's a label. It just says that. And there's a letter.